about 1400 hours right now. It's been a good day. Been fighting spammers all day. I'm a spam cop. They're getting these blended threats, shortened URLs. What do we do? Spam doesn't take a vacation. What do you think spammers really want? This is what I do to spam. We are the spam cops. Fighting spam can be a messy business. But you get by, you get by. I love being a spam cop because it feels like I'm really making a difference in the world. You know, when I, when I first interviewed for the job of spam analyst, I said that I hate spam so much. Fighting such sort of malicious activity like spam, antivirus, anti-spam, uh, sort of only helps to keep the email aspect of, you know, the communication aspect of email live. Security is always at the core of what we're thinking about. Uh, we think about it first, we build it in all the different layers, uh, from both end user interaction to the system, to internal system processes that uh, Exchange is doing, Exchange Online, uh, how we communicate with partners, how we communicate with our perimeters. We think about security at the core of what we're doing now, and that's, it's been really cool to see that change over the years. Spam is the same in every language. Bad. And we also have a series of uh, service level agreements with our customers, and for example, for spam, we maintain an SLA of 98% of catch rate, and one in a quarter of a million for false positives. And based on the numbers from the last month, we actually we significantly exceeded these SLAs, which is to the benefits of our customers. People have used a postal service analogy before that you don't really think about the postal service, it just works. Uh, you send your mail, it arrives somewhere in a predictable fashion. And that's how we want to think about the service. Uh, a user sends their mail, administrators uh, can send their mail, it gets delivered, it comes with redundancy, it comes with high availability. If something is stuck along the way, the service is built to accommodate that and to react to it quickly. We help our customers by taking the hit on the network that we maintain and we run all that protection. Then uh, over this particular year, we decreased the amount of spam that we are seeing to uh, almost a billion messages. And it also, it helps uh, everybody, it helps the community. So we are not only driving uh, technology, helping our customers, but we are helping the community worldwide by providing various technologies to help identify uh, quickly uh, various spammers, spamming attacks, and make that information available to uh, our customers and consuming technologies. I remember the story about uh, you know, Microsoft uh, bringing down Rustock, which uh, you know sort of uh, was a big, ish, big deal. Uh, you know, a couple of our team members actually played a vital role in bringing that down, uh, bringing that entire botnet down. We are multi-layered solution. Inside of our product, we protect our customers from uh, virus and from spam simultaneously. We take on the virus first, and then we continue on to spam, and we start protection of our customers from the edge of network. Once we take a very statistical approach to the way we look at email and spam. And so a lot of our IP block lists are built upon statistical, statistical history of the way that people send mail to us. So for example, some of our IP block lists are built upon looking at our traffic history and making judgments about whether somebody is a good sender or a bad sender. And we sometimes use that to make preemptive judgments about the population in which that sender lives. For the virus, we have a team located in New York, and that team tasked with providing uh, defenses against malware and viruses. So it's a comprehensive solution, which starts on the perimeter of our network and moves all the way to the very end, to the inbox. We know that with our solution, we take great care about protecting uh, from most recent vectors of attacks. And being a service means that we will be able to turn around that new solution in a very short amount of time. We don't need to wait for service pack updates or release. We'll be able to pretty much implement solution in real time. The spammer's potential is our passion. We are hidden, hidden investigators. We investigate, we get the solution, and our customers, most of the times, they enjoy without even knowing that it was a tremendous amount of work day and night that our spam analysts and our spam team put in into place to prevent this from happening. It's much beyond spam and malware. It's, it's policy-based and it's directory-based. 
I would love customers to know just how quickly we can get that change out there and that we really do listen and that we care about uh, giving them the best service as possible, the most reliable service as possible, and the most predictable service as possible. Uh, and that's at the core of what we do daily. Even today, all these years later, I hate spam so much. I hate it as much now as I did back then. And I feel like the, the work that I do stops people who are doing bad things. Because as we all know, spam doesn't take a vacation.